prayers anytime you wish as an invocation. When you go before deities, it's nice to bring these prayers with you and you can offer these prayers. Just news into it. So here's the translation and then we'll sing the Sanskrit together. O Purushottam, no sinner or offender is as bad as I am. How can I describe my shame? Just as the minds of young ladies take pleasure in a young man and the minds of young men take pleasure in a young woman, woman kindly let my mind take pleasure in you alone. Just as the ground is the only support for those whose feet have slipped, you alone are the only shelter for those who have offended you. O Srimati Radharani, I'm now on page 194 at the top, and if you wish to join in, please feel free. O Srimati Radharani, beloved of Lord Govinda, this is my request. May you and Lord Govinda consider me one of your assistants. O Srimati Radharani, O Queen of Vrindavan, you are a river flowing with the nectar of mercy. Please be kind to me and give me a little service at your lotus feet. <clears throat> okay, here's how it goes. Matsamo nasti papatma naparadi chikashchana parihare pilajame kimruve purushotama Yuvatinam yata yuni yunam cha yuvatau yata mano binamate tadvan mano me ramate twayi bumau skalita paranam bumir eva valambanam twayi jata paradanam tome vasharanam prabhu govinda balabe radhe Prartaye tvam aham sada Tvadiyam miti janatu Govindo mam tvaya saha Radhe vrindavanadi she Karuna mrittavahani Kripaya nijapadabcha Thasamayam pradiyatam And you can add the last verse too. Go to the next page. Yata yata gaurapadara vinde Vindeta bhaktim krita punya rashi, tata tato sarpati hridya kasmat, radha padam boja sudambu rasi. To the degree that we surrendered Lord Chaitanya's service, to that degree we gained qualification for the service to Radharani's lotus feet in Vraja. Actually, there are other translations, but what it really means is that. <coughs> Padam boja sudambu. Sudambu rasi. Rasi means to increase. And sudambu means there's an ocean. Like the ebb and flow of the ocean. So when we serve Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then there's a flood or an ebb tide. Ebb means increase. Decrease. Okay, there's a flow of the ocean of... <coughs> the mood of Vrindavan, of Radharani, within the heart, by serving Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. It's a significant verse because Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the gateway to service in Vrindavan. As we know, Gora Kripa Holehe, Sheshi Vrindavan Radisham, Pabe Darshan means that in the end, by the mercy of Lord Gora then, by diving into the ocean of service to Lord Gore, then one comes out into the onto the shore of the pastimes of Radha and Krishna. That's from Gauranga, Gera Duti Pada and Doyal Nitai Chaitanya, the two songs combined together in my mind. So we'll say this prayer one more time because just keep it with you, memorize it, and then whenever you Meet the Lord, you can say these prayers. Matsamo nasti papatma naparadi chakashchana parihare pilajame kimbruve purushotama yavatinam yata yuni yunam cha yuvatau yata 
Mano Biramate Tadvan, Mano Me Ramatam Tayi, Bumau Skalita Padanam, Bumireva Balambanam, Tayi Jata Paradanam, Tome Vasharanam Prabhu, Govinda Balabe Radhe, Prartaye Tom Maham Sada, Tuadiyam Mitijadatu, Govindo Mam Tuayasaha, Radhe Vrindavanadi She, Karunam Rittavahani, Kripaya Nijapadabja, Dasyamayam Pratiyatam, Yatayata Gaurapadara Vinde, Vinde Kutapunya Rashi, Tatata to Sarpata Hritirakasmat, Radha Pandam Boja Sudam Burasi, Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Adwaita Gadadhara, Shiva Sari Gaura Bhakta Rinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama. don't okay now show and tell you keep real show and tell this is what I told you about the other day A little app here called streaks it's really simple you can set up six streaks you're on and I'm on a streak too. chant one chapter of Bhagavad Gita a day for 365 days. Who would like to also join? Haribo. Okay, so why don't we keep today's going, keep the streak alive? I was realizing today that every discipline in my life affects all the other disciplines. And if you pick one and you become fastidious about completing it every day, then it affects all the other areas of your life. And one of, of course, chanting 16 rounds is a given. Well, we shouldn't take it as a given. We should make that at the foundation of our whole practice. But then after that, Bhagavad Gita, one chapter a day, <clears throat> becomes a tonic that gives life to all the other disciplines in our practice. So, if you wish, we can now do the Sanskrit to chapter 15, as yesterday we did the English. Is that fair enough? Did we? Time can go so fast, huh? I don't know which day is which, which yatra is which, which lifetime I'm in. It's all a blur. Okay. <laughs> what page are we on, by the way? And where are we? Okay. 44. Shall we together? Neatness counts. The Supreme Personality of God had said, It is said that there is an imperishable banyan tree that has its roots upward and its branches down, and whose leaves are the Vedic hymns. One who knows this tree is the knower of the Vedas. The branches of this tree extend downward and upward, nourished by the three modes of material nature. The twigs are the objects of the senses. This tree also has roots going down, and these are bound to the fruit of actions of human society. The real form of this tree cannot be perceived in this world. No one can understand where it ends, where it begins, or where its foundation is. But with determination, one must cut down this strongly rooted tree with a weapon of detachment. Thereafter, one must seek that place from which, having gone, one never returns, and there surrender to that Supreme Personality of Godhead, from whom everything began, and from whom everything has extended since time immemorial. Those who are free from false prestige, illusion, and false association, who understand the eternal, who are done with material lust who are freed from the dualities of happiness and distress, and who, unbewildered, know how to surrender unto the Supreme Person, attain to that eternal kingdom. 
That supreme abode of mine is not illumined by the sun or moon, nor by fire or electricity. Those who reach it never return to this material world. The living entities in this conditioned world are my eternal fragmental parts. Due to conditioned life, they are struggling very hard with the six senses, which include the mind. The living entity in the material world carries its different conceptions of life from one body to another as the air carries aromas. Thus he takes one kind of body and again quits it to take another. The living entity thus taking another gross body obtains a certain type of ear, eye, tongue, nose and sense of touch which are grouped about the mind. He thus enjoys a particular set of sense objects. The foolish cannot understand how a living entity can quit his body, nor can they understand what sort of body he enjoys under the spell of the modes of nature. But one whose eyes are trained in knowledge can see all this. The endeavoring transcendentalists who are situated in self-realization can see all this clearly, but those whose minds are not developed and who are not situated in self-realization cannot see what is taking place though they may try. The splendor of the sun, which dissipates the darkness of this whole world, comes from me, and the splendor of the moon and the splendor of fire are also from me. I enter into each planet, and by my energy they stay in orbit. I become the moon, and thereby supply the juice of life to all vegetables. I am the fire of digestion in the bodies of all living entities, and I join with the air of life, outgoing and incoming to digest the four kinds of foodstuffs. I am seated in everyone's heart, and for me come remembrance, knowledge, and forgetfulness. By all the Vedas, I am to be known. Indeed, I am the compiler of Vedanta, and I am the knower of the Vedas. There are two classes of beings, the fallible and the infallible. In the material world, every living entity is fallible. And in the spiritual world, every living entity is called infallible. Besides these two, there is the greatest living personality, the supreme soul, the imperishable Lord himself, who has entered the three worlds and is maintaining them. Because I am transcendental, beyond both the fallible and the infallible, and because I am the greatest, I am celebrated both in the world and in the Vedas, as that Supreme Person. Whoever knows me as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, without doubting, is the knower of everything. He therefore engages himself in full devotional service to me, O Son of Bharat. This is the most confidential part of the Vedic Scriptures, O Sinless One, and it is disclosed now by me. Whoever understands this will become wise, and his endeavors will know perfection. Shri Purushottam Yoga Ki Jai. And now I'm going to my app and I'm going to press on it. Boom. Kept the streak alive. I live to see another day.